network structures actually have different shapes to them. Uh, the simplest one, of course, is one-to-one, -one, right? where you could have a network where it's just one person to another person, where two nodes are connected by one link. Then you get into network structures which look more like one-to-many. Okay, think of a TV broadcast station in the 1900s or a radio station or a newspaper. And then you get into the many-to-many, which was really the innovation of the internet that came along in the 1990s where suddenly all the nodes could see each other and it didn't have to be coming from one central source. 